reporting live from the University of Waterloo. Today's question is, what is balance? Really for us, balance involves uh, maintaining your center of mass within your body's ability to stay in an upright position. I think balance is when they, you have different sides or different elements um, that all end up being equal. I would say having both sides of your body equal so your body balances out like so you don't fall over. Change direction, change position, um, maintain your center mass so you're not falling to the ground. What's balance? Um, when everything is equal. Balance is the ability to stand up. I would say everybody uses balance, obviously. Uh, balance is used in sports and everyday life. I play hockey, so I'm regularly on skates, so that requires an entirely different kind of balance. As soon as they get up in the morning till the time that they go to bed at night, in terms of uh, walking, gait, running. So, what is balance? Everybody has their own ideas and definitions of what balance is, and it seems that balance can affect anybody at any time. Without balance, we would simply not be able to function with everyday life and increase the chance of falling or injuries. Instead of defining it, let's consider some factors that really affect balance and find some ways to improve these factors. Let's start with base of support. The ability to keep your center of mass, for example, where your belly button is, within your base of support, which in this case will be where your feet are placed, as you can see, these positions constantly change with everyday activities and sports. Here, with feet together, your belly button has a much smaller area that it must stay in to maintain balance. If a force were applied to you while in this feet together position, it would make it very easy for you to fall over or lose your balance. Now, let's spread the feet apart and you can see the belly button will have much more area to move around in before it is out of your base of support. If we bring in a similar or stronger force, you can stay in the upright position much easier. A simple activity that you can do to improve your balance in these small base of support situations, like the feet together position, is tandem walking, or in other words, heel to toe walking. You can do this anywhere you go throughout the day, every day. If you feel like challenging yourself more, try tandem walking backwards. Dual tasking is used on a daily basis in many activities such as walking and talking, playing sports, and going up and down stairs. Any activity that requires you to perform two or more activities at the same time is considered a dual task. Doing exercises that require dual tasking can help you perform tasks more efficiently throughout the day. An example of an exercise would be to stand on one leg, make sure you have support, and say out loud the months of the year backwards. April, March, February. Vision plays one of the most crucial roles in the ability to keep your balance. Vision is needed to support the vestibular system. What is the vestibular system, you may ask? It is a sensory system in your inner ear that detects movement of your head and helps to control balance. To start your vision exercises, you should place a letter in front of your face and move your head side to side and up and down for 30 second increments while focusing your eyes on the letter. To increase the exercise, you should place your hand at arm's length away from your face and move your head side to side and up and down while focusing on your finger. Next, you shall move your hand in towards your face and away, keeping your eyes focused on your finger the entire time. For a harder exercise, you can grab a ball and throw it from side to side in your hands while keeping your eye on the ball each time you pass it. Static balance is the ability to stand without interruptions, whereas dynamic balance involves movements such as walking or playing sport. To improve static balance, you can use a foam pad or pillow to stand on. Make sure you have a chair or support object close by. The unstable surface will help improve overall balance. To help improve dynamic balance, you can perform a star toe touch. Start with your feet together and use one foot to touch the points of the star, alternating feet. When performing this exercise, make sure you have a chair or support object close by. The star toe touch will help improve movement in all directions. If you want to try something fun, line dancing is a good way to incorporate all factors that we just talked about. 
It involves various basic support positions, dual tasking and vision coordination, and toe touches for dynamic movements.